Now, let us learn about the important cell organelles in plant cell. Cell organelles perform an important function in the cell. There are many cell organelles that are found in cytoplasm of the cell. They are endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, lysosome, mitochondria, ribosomes, plastids, vacuole. Click each tab to know more. Endoplasmic reticulum When a cell is absorbed under an electron microscope, a network of membranes appear throughout the cytoplasm called endoplasmic reticulum, ER. This network creates passages in the cytoplasm to transport the substances from one part of the cell to other. The structure of ER membrane is similar to the plasma membrane. There are two types of endoplasmic reticulum. Rough endoplasmic reticulum, smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Rough endoplasmic reticulum. Some granules like structures are present on the surface of endoplasmic reticulum called ribosomes. Ribosomes play an important role in protein synthesis. This type of parts is called as the rough endoplasmic reticulum or ER. Proteins are manufactured in the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum If the parts or sections of endoplasmic reticulum do not contain ribosomes, then it is said to be smooth endoplasmic reticulum, SER. SER helps in the synthesis of lipids, fat molecules, which are important for cell function. These synthesized proteins and lipids are sent to various parts in the cell based on the need through endoplasmic reticulum. Some of these proteins and lipids help in building the cell membrane. Functions of endoplasmic reticulum It serves as a channel and helps in transporting of materials between different regions of cytoplasm or between cytoplasm and nucleus. It acts as a cytoplasmic framework and provides surface area for various biogeochemical activities. In the liver cells of vertebrate, smooth endoplasmic reticulum helps in detoxifying many poisons and drugs. The membranes of endoplasmic reticulum are made up of number of enzymes for various metabolic activities and cytochromes that take place in electron transport. Golgi body or Golgi apparatus In the year 1898, Camillo Golgi discovered this organelle by using a compound microscope. But its finer structure can be observed only under an electron microscope. Golgi apparatus is made up of several membrane-bound vesicles that are arranged parallel to each other in stacks called as cisterns. The proteins and other substances that are produced in the ribosomes reach the Golgi body through these vesicles. The distinct components that are visible in the Golgi complex are flattened sacs or cisternae, clusters of tubules and vesicles, large vesicles or vacuoles. The Golgi apparatus has convex forming phase and concave maturing phase. The convex forming phase receives vesicles from endoplasmic reticulum and the concave maturing phase produces secretory vesicles and lysosomes. The number of Golgi bodies varies from cell to cell. The number of Golgi apparatus are large in cells that secrete hormones and enzymes. Functions of Golgi apparatus Golgi apparatus helps in secretion of mucus, enzymes and hormones. It helps in storage, packaging and modification of secretory products in vesicles. 
It helps in the manufacturing of complex sugars from simple sugars. It helps in the formation of lysosomes. Now, let us learn about lysosome. Lysosome Lysosomes are membrane-bound sacs that are filled with digestive enzymes. These enzymes are made up of rough endoplasmic reticulum or ER. Lysosomes have a resistant covering membrane that protects the cell from digestive enzymes. Lysosomes help in the disposal of the wastage from the cell. Lysosomes maintain the cell clean by removing the worn out materials and digesting the foreign or bacteria materials. Lysosomes contain destructive enzymes. If any bacteria enter the cell, lysosomes break them into small pieces. This is because the enzymes released by lysosomes are very powerful. Suppose if the cell gets damaged, lysosomes burst and release an enzyme which digests their own cell. Hence, lysosomes are called suicidal bags of the cell. Functions of lysosomes Lysosomes help in intracellular digestion. Lysosomes bring about cellular breakdown and are associated with aging. They provide energy during starvation. Mitochondria Mitochondria is called as the powerhouse of the cell. Mitochondria is a membrane-bound organelle present in almost all the eukaryotic cells. These organelles act like a digestive system which takes in nutrients, breaks them down and creates energy-rich molecules for the cell. The biochemical processes of the cell are known as cellular respiration. Now, let us learn about other important organelle ribosomes. Ribosomes are small granule-like structures present in the cytoplasm of the cell. Ribosomes are present in both prokaryotes and eukaryotes except in mature sperms and RBCs. In eukaryotic cells, ribosomes occur freely in the cytoplasm as well as attach it to the outer surface of the rough endoplasmic reticulum. In case of prokaryotic cells, ribosomes are found floating freely in cytoplasm. Functions of Ribosomes Ribosomes help in protein synthesis of the cell. Hence, they are termed as protein factories of the cell. Plastids Plastids are cell organelles that are present only in plant cells. Plastids consist of various membrane layers that are present inside a material called stroma. From external view, plastids are similar to mitochondria. Plastids are of three types. They are chloroplasts, chromoplasts, leucoplasts. Chloroplasts, the primary function of chloroplasts is to trap energy from sunlight and transform it into chemical energy. This helps in carrying the process of photosynthesis. Each chloroplast is covered by a double-layered unit membrane. The inner membrane of chloroplast is made up of matrix or stroma and disc-like bodies called grana. 
Chromoplasts. Chromoplasts are colored plastids. Chromoplasts contain fat soluble pigments. These are formed either from chloroplasts or leucoplasts. Chromoplasts are red, orange, and yellow plastids present in fruits, petals, and flowers of a plant. Leucoplast. Leucoplasts are colorless plastids. These are named on the basis of substances they store. They store starch, oils, and protein granules. Vacuole Vacuoles are the storage bubbles found in the cells. It is a membrane-bound organelle found in both animal, bacterial, fungal, and plant cells but are much larger in plant cells. Vacuoles might store food or any variety of nutrients a cell might need to survive. They can even store waste products.